what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i'm so grateful that you are here today my name is josie i'm a pharmacist i'm so thankful to god for this month october is coming my question to you is that you have your budget prepared if you don't please have a budget there's a lot of stuff budget can do for you budget has done a lot for me it's not complicated you're just telling your money what to do for you and your family and your loved ones i have a free budget sheet that you can download for free to start your budget it's simple it's not complicated so if you want to know how to budget you want to tell your money what to do and you don't know where to start just dm me on my instagram facebook the name is real simple life with josie when i was in school i used to listen to susan oman about financial advice and after school i have a lot of student loan a lot of debt and i didn't know how to go about stuff and some of my friends introduced me to dave ramsey and everybody has a way they talk about finances there's a lot of finance professionals or those that they know a lot about money so far so good i've been listening to a lot of financial advice because i'm not a financial person as a career but when i started listening to dave ramsey i stick to him because i didn't want to like listen to all those many stuff and it's just like going to crack my mind and i wouldn't know what to do so i, I was still listening to susan oman and i was listening to dave ramsey as i watched some of the youtube videos about people who do budgeting people that they have 10 kids and they are living their best life people that they are single and they are budgeting people that they are students and they are budgeting and their finances is going well for them so i decided to be a financial coordinator for Dave Ramsey so that I can teach other people about some of the financial stuff like budgeting, retirement. So I was a coordinator for my church and I can't tell you enough what budgeting has done for me, especially this year, it has done a lot for me. And if you don't know how to budget or if you are starting to budget and you have questions, that's why we do all this video. There's a lot coming on my video and I'm going to tell you more about it as I go through the budget. So let's get into the budget. It's October monthly overview. And you all know on this channel, we talk about simple living through Jesus, health and finances. So let's start by doing our usual thing. I'll read the code in my planner. Then I'll also tell you about my monthly quotation and my monthly quotes. And today I'm so glad I have this monthly quote. It's just been a wonderful for me. So for the quote in my monthly planner said, she had dreams, that's a thinker, she does possibility everywhere yes if you are that she say it to yourself i'm i'm saying it i am a dreamer i am a thinker i see possibility everywhere yes i'm going to show you my monthly overview then i will show you how i do it on my budget sheet so let's look at my monthly overview so my family, we budget with 5000 after we take out our tight, some savings, emergency fund and all that. I'm going to be in the house for about three months. I want to go below 4000 So let's see how we're going to do for this month. We've cut down a lot of stuff, but we added some stuff as well. And some of the stuff, we already have money. Like clothing, for instance, I have a lot of money in my clothing account. There's a lot of changes. So I'll show you my monthly overview. And I also change my budget a little bit. So the budget for October is going to be from the first to the third year. So instead of telling you when I get paid in the following month, I have changed it because I'm in the house. October from the first to the third year for 31st. So that's how all the budget that has been going out for this month in October. So I do three budgets in a month. Monthly, check to paycheck, which is every two weeks. For October, I have my mortgage going up. My mortgage, I pay one on the first and I pay one on the 15th. So on the first, I have mortgage going out, my life insurance. Kwame, I pay my son. I've started saving towards Christmas, so I'm going to do $50 for Christmas. Packet money, I still pay myself, which is $50. Now we have food to be $300. 
it used to be 400 for those of you who have been watching me but now we're taking some club from it so some club will take hundred dollars then other food that i don't buy in some club take 300 dollars my gas because i'm going to be in the house is 50 dollars instead of 100 clothing is 20 dollars i already have a lot of money in clothing we went for shopping last month and we still have a lot of money in clothing. So now we have a new family, a turtle and a fish, which was given by a friend who was going out of state. So now we are signed an envelope for them, which is $10 because we have to feed them. And we also have to buy petty petty stuff as they come by. Somebody told me that they are high maintenance, but so far so good has been a very blessing thing for my son. It was a birthday gift for him and my savings. I reduced the amount from 150 to 100 to 50 dollars so now i'm doing only 50 dollars then when you come here on the fourth i have toiletries so now toiletries is just going to be toilet paper paper towels so we just put in 30 dollars in that envelope baby stuff i have little ones and that one we do 100 dollars and now, like I said, we have a different envelope for Sam's Club. So that one we are doing $80. Then I have my electricity and my gas, which goes out on the 11th. My phone bills go out on the 11th as well. I managed to negotiate from 130 to 110 So that one is there. Then on the 15th, I have another mortgage payment going up. Not payment, but like I divided into two on the 1st and on the 15th and also i have my miscellaneous which is 50 dollars the miscellaneous really really help when maybe you forgot something in the budget or something come up so 50 dollars i have a lot of money in my miscellaneous as well so we're doing 50 dollars this time my internet and cable is 20 200 dollars it used to be less but now it's 200 dollars because i'm going to stay home and I'm going to use the internet a lot. Now, student loan are on deferral. I was paying a lot towards it, but we decided that we need to save more. So we are doing only $300 for student loan. Then I have my car note, which is $300, and my car insurance too, which goes out on the 30th. So this is the monthly overview, as you can see. Then now I'm going to show you on my budget sheet how I do that one as well. So this is my budget sheet that I'm using. I have the link in my description below. So you can go download it for free to do your budget. Yes, budget has helped me a lot. So for this month, October, this is our monthly review. And like I said, I, for this month, I'm starting to budget from the first to the end of the month, which is 31st. And we are still budgeting with 5,000. From this 5,000, we've already paid tithe, we've already do giving. We save towards our emergency fund. All those things are being done. So the rest are for just expenses and other stuff. For this month, the quotation is from Philippians 4.13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. It's the same quotation that says I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. It's the same thing. And I love this quotation. Yes, you can do everything through Christ who strengthens us every day. And I have my top three for the month. I really want to pray more. I want to save towards my tuition. Yes, I started going back to school to be a health coach. I'm so excited I made the decision. Yes, I'm so, so excited. I want to eat healthy food. Some of this stuff, I put it on there to remind myself that I want to eat healthy. Yes. And for my goals for the month, it's as usual or the same. I want to pray more. I want to pay a little towards my student loan. Now, student loans are on deferral to the end of the year, but I still want to pay something towards this. I was paying a lot more, but for this month going, I just want to pay not too a lot, a lot, but I'm paying something towards it. I want to stick to my budget. My goal is to budget less than 4000 because I'm going to be in the house for till the end of the year, probably. And for this month, we surprise will be coming. Yes, I've been talking about it. It's coming this month. So you guys will know what the surprise was. <laughs> Maybe some of you know you already and for the quote for the month i love this quote because somebody in one of their facebook page posted a youtube video that i watch and the lady was talking about how people think that they are not enough 
and because of that they don't get starved down they get depressed they get sick when you tell yourself that you are enough can change your life so i love this quote I am enough. Yes, everybody is enough. It was by Melissa Pierce. I'm sure a lot of people have said this quote, but because of the YouTube video I listened, it was by Melissa Pierce. This lady explained how he has been using it to cancel people and it has changed their life. And I'm like, yes, that'll be my quote for October. And I also want to read something I read. I will show it on my screen. I read this from a lady called Melissa Winskin, that he explained when you say to yourself that you are not enough. He said, we are made to be you as you are on purpose. It is no mistake that you are this person in this place and at this time. You are enough as you are, messes and all, beautiful and broken, showing up for your life every day. That is all you have to be and all you have to do. I want to tell you, you are enough. Don't compare yourself to anybody and don't think that you are not. You are enough for your family. You are enough being a single person. Don't let anybody deceive you but because of your skin color, you are not enough. Don't let anybody look down upon you. You are enough. I've been saying this to myself when I hear, when I listen to the, the message on the YouTube video, that the link that the person posted. And I've been saying this to myself. I've written it down in my diary, in my planner, and I've been telling myself every morning that I am enough for the people around me. I am enough. So say to yourself and it will really, really change your life. Okay, so now let's go into the budget. And also for my death snowball, my lowest debt right now is one of my student loan. Now I have about 7,000. I thought 926, I have 7,000 and I'm paying. It's going down. When I started doing the budget video, I had about 12,000. Yes, it is going down. We are paying little by little. Even if they are in deferral, I still want to pay something towards it. Okay, so for my budget, like I said, we've already taken tight and offering, giving us out. We've already put some in emergency fund. So this is the savings I do for, especially for myself. So it goes out October 3rd, which is $50. Anytime you see this sign, it means it's going to be in one of my envelopes. And I'm going to do my next video for envelope stuff. And so you see what I'm talking about. I have a packet money, which is also $50. It goes out on October 2nd. Then when you come here, I have my four walls. They are very important to me. So that's what I do my budget for. So when you download my budget sheet, it's for free. The link will be in the description below. Four words comes first before other expenses. So that's my mortgage. It goes out on the first and it's 1866. I normally divide it into two in the month. So I take out one on the first and I'll take out one on the 15th. Then on the first of the following Monday, come and take it out. So that's how I do it. But for the whole month, it's 1866. I have food and grocery to be going out on the second in the month and that one is $300. Like I said, I'm going to be in the house so we switch out the budget a little bit. Food and grocery take $300 and we also have a Sam's Club separate which is $80. So for Sam's Club alone when we go to buy box stuff, that one is $80. For clothing, it goes out on the second which is $20. I have a lot of money in our clothing account. So now we're just doing $20 for clothing. Under transportation, I have a car loan, which goes out 25th of every month. And that one is $300. I have my car insurance. It goes out on the 30th of every month. And that one is 202. I have gas. Normally I take it beginning of the month and I'm doing $50 because I'm going to stay in the house a lot. Then when it comes to other expenses, we have NICO, which is my gas. It goes out on the 11th, which is $26.40. My electricity bill, it also goes out on the 11th, which is $140. Internet and cable, it goes out on the 20th. It went up a little bit, which is $200, because both of us are going to be in the house, and we need a high speed. So now our bills went up to $200. We have a life insurance. It goes out on the 1st and it's $26. I have Kwame, which is my big boy. 
we give him $50 every month. So I take it out beginning of the month. Toiletries. I have an envelope for that. I used to have it with the baby stuff. Now, no. We divided into two. So toiletries is going to be $30. And I have baby stuff. I have young ones. So that envelope gets $100 every month. Our phone bills went down by $20. So now we have $110. And my student loan, like I said, I was paying a lot of a student loan. But starting from this month, since they are, they are no interest charging on it, I still want to pay a lot, but I'm just going to do $300. Turtle and a fish. And that one, I'm going to have an envelope for them for $10. Christmas is coming up. I don't really save for Christmas because Christmas time, we don't really spend a lot. It's just a holiday for us. Buying stuff is not really a priority. For the envelope, I'm going to do $40. Total income is five thousand so let's see how much all this is going to be so i have plus 50 plus 1866 plus 300 plus 20 plus 300 plus 202 plus 50 plus 80 plus Plus 10, plus 40. It came down to be 3950 the 40 cent. And we are budgeting with 5,000. So it's going to be 5,000 minus 3950.40. So my balance is 1049.6. I'm telling you, I want to budget less than 4,000. For now, I'm in the house and we need to save a lot. Of money so this amount 1049.6 is going to go towards our emergency fund so that's why we call it zero base budget every money has a name so that's why it's going to go towards so my balance to be zero at the end of the day is zero base budget yes so all this money is going to go towards our emergency fund so i'm trying to budget below four thousand yeah thanks for watching this video and there's more coming on the channel i'm so grateful that you are here please subscribe like comment and share and thank you so much god bless you i will see you in my next video